YouTube family. Welcome back to another episode of 2A in LA. As always, anything I say in this episode, prior episodes, and future episodes is just my personal opinion. You shouldn't take it as fact. You shouldn't take it as law. Always do your own homework and come up with your own conclusions. All right, look fam, real quick for me, stop what you're doing, hit that like button for me. Just tap it. Just it. Boom. It's that fast. It's that fast. Just go ahead and tap it for your boy. Okay? I appreciate it. All right. Now, let's, let's get the episode rolling. So, for you guys who saw my 2022 gun collection video, and if you didn't, man, I, I dropped a banger. Go back and check that one out. My 2022 handgun collection video. Also, the long gun collection video. You don't want to miss either one of those. But if you saw my 2022 handgun collection, you know that one of the guns that's in my uh, collection is the Sig uh, Sauer P365XL. That has really been what I've shifted more towards with my everyday carry. And so, uh, at the time that video was shot, a few weeks back, this is what my P365 look like. So I'll let you guys check that out real quick. Okay, fam. So look, look, fam. There's no doubt that P365 is an attractive looking gun. It's hot. You know, your boy threw the optic on there and the light set it off just right. But since then, and, and I had the gold barrel as well, right? But since then, look, fam, 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 <laughs> you know how your boy does it. I am never content. We're not going to rest on our laurels. <laughs> we trying to always take it to the next level. And fam, fam, this is what my P365 XL looks like now. Fam, fam, bam, fam, bam. You can't tell me that is not hot to death. That sexy Sarah coat on it. And look, for everybody, the YouTube police call the mag, nothing in it. Free and clear. Right? Okay, so look, fam. Now, you may think what I did was I sent my gun out to get Sarah coded. I did not. And so this is not meant to be a gun review. It's more to talk about the improvement that I just showed you, but I'll get into the gun just a bit. The thing that's special about the SIG P365 and other P series of the P320 is the same way, is that in most firearms, the serialized portion of the firearm, which is what the government considers the gun is this lower grip module right here. Usually the serial number will be somewhere just below the slide, either on the right or the left side of the gun, right? Well, SIG has changed the game really. Uh, so shout out to SIG for uh, being innovative. They created now what's called the fire control unit. And that is a unit that sits inside of the grip module just below the slide where the trigger and that is the serialized portion of the gun and by doing that they've made this a truly modular system so you don't like your lower you want to put a different lower on you can change it out doesn't require you to send the whole gun out you want to change out the slide you can change that out and really the only part that matters the only part uh that stays the same is the fire control module which is a little model so i'll put up a picture of what the fire control module looks like in the p365 xl you can check that out uh, up in the corner but what that has done really is created a new market for third-party providers to provide you uh options for your sig uh, guns and this is a pre seracoded ready to ship grip module done by FDEZ Works and so 
they offer a variety of uh, colors and schemes and you can just order the grip module they'll they, they have some that are ready to ship and they have other ones that you know are special order but even the special order ones typically take about two to three weeks depending on you know how uh, backed up they are but you can they'll, they'll send it out the grip module out pre share coded in the mail it literally you guys is a five minute install to change out the old grip module to the new grip module and look at the difference it made in the gun. So I'll bet I'll put up again a picture of what it looked like before I changed out the grip module and then I'll put up another picture of what it looks like after and bam it is night and day. And so if you're looking for a way to spice up your P365 or spice up your P365 XL, man, consider the FDEZ Works, Feds Works uh, company, man. They did a really good job. It is sexy. The Cerakote coat is well, well done. And yeah, like I said, it took me a couple of few weeks to get it because at the time I went to order this one, it was out of stock. So I had to special order it. So it took me about three weeks to get it, but fam, it changed the game. And what was great was I didn't have to give up my gun. You know, a lot of times <clears throat> when I get Cerakote work done, I send it out to the shop. Man, they got to, you know, clear, go through that whole process, right? I'm t it's, it's four to six weeks before I'm getting my gun back in most instances. This time, I wasn't without my gun today. I had it the whole time. And when it came in, five minutes, and it was looking like that. So the grip modules run somewhere. It depends on which one you choose, obviously. But I say somewhere on the low end, 110, 115 bucks. On the high end, 150, 160. But fam, fam, hot, hot to death. All right, so look fam, again, you guys are gonna be like, where's the link, where's the link? Okay, look, <laughs> I promise you guys, by the end of January, I am going to have a link that's below each of my videos. If you click on it, it will take you to my website page and I'll have all the links for all the guns and all the bills that I do. Uh, I think we got like, 88, 90 videos or something, so it's going to take me a minute to finish it, but I promise you it'll be over there, so look for that right around uh, the end of January, and I will also make sure uh, that I do a video letting you guys know once it goes live. All right, until next time, fam, as always, take care of one another, and peace.